This hearing concerns the proposed merger of AT&T, a global telecommunications company with approximately 11 million broadband subscribers, 5.6 million video subscribers, and 246,700 employees with DirecTV, the nation's second largest video provider, serving approximately 50 million customers. The core question at the heart of this merger is whether creating an integrated bundle of AT&T's broadband services and infrastructure with DirecTV's popular video programming would serve the public interest without substantially lessening competition. According to a survey conducted by Consumer Reports last year, consumers are overwhelmingly one-stop shoppers who prefer to bundle phone, video, and broadband internet into one package. Not only does bundling multiple services often save many consumers money at a time of increasing cable costs, but it also avoids the problems associated with multiple installation visits, service calls, and phone calls to resolve disputes. As a new entrant, in the video marketplace with only 5.6 million subscribers, there is little to suggest AT&T offers serious direct competition with DirecTV's video services. Instead, the bulk of the evidence demonstrates that each company primarily serves different markets with different services. Although the merger represents a concerning trend towards industry consolidation, there is ample evidence that this transaction would create considerable public interest benefits. AT&T argues that the improved bundle and cost savings generated by the merger will, quote, fundamentally and permanently improve the economics of AT&T's investment in broadband, end quote. Specifically, AT&T plans to deploy its fiber network to 2 million homes with speeds up to 1 gigabyte per second and deploy high-speed broadband Internet over a fixed wireless local loop to 13 million homes in largely rural areas with average speeds between 15 and 20 megabits per second. For millions of homes, this Internet service will be the fastest ever improving high-speed access for millions while indirectly benefiting other competitors by bringing these homes online. As a strong advocate of digital inclusion, I commend this commitment to close the digital divide by bringing us measurably closer to the universal adoption of affordable high-speed Internet. It is critical that people of color remain competitive in the Internet economy, which starts with a fast and affordable Internet connection. Additionally, this merger would benefit the public by expanding AT&T's industry-leading standards for labor and corporate diversity to direct TV's employees and suppliers. Given the television industry's infamous reputation for opposing organized labor, this merger would have transformational benefit for thousands of employees in this industry, giving labor a strong foothold in the industry. I urge the Federal Communications Commission and the Department of Justice to view this merger in light of these public benefits and to strongly hold the merged company to these commitments. Lastly, as it eyes more than several dozen cities for deployment, of its ultra-fast, <coughs> excuse me, ultra-fast fiber network, I call on AT&T to deploy this advanced service in Atlanta, Georgia, which encompasses much of the district that I represent. Atlanta is swiftly becoming an innovation economy driven to create, tinker, and improve products and design. Deploying an all-fiber network in Atlanta would benefit many existing local startups as well as untold entrepreneurs, app developers, and other innovators still emerging. 
As a former county commissioner who understands the power of big ideas, I stand ready to work with both AT&T and local government to make this happen. I thank the chair for holding this important oversight hearing, and I look forward to today's testimonies. And with that, I will yield back. Thank you very much.